Okay, everybody wanted uh, was asking about my electrolysis. This is my first time, and I know there's uh, much better ways. I'm going to make mistakes, but that's all part of learning. I am using, right now, an automatic battery charger, and it hasn't shut off yet. I'm on 2 amps. I'm on uh, conventional, low-maintenance battery selection, and that's my deep maintenance, deep cycle. So I'm over here and it it's it's putting out. As you can see, my sacrificial drill bit is being sacrificed. <laughs> and uh I was using uh phone chargers, even two different types. Sorry for the clock. And uh it was doing okay. This is from another angle. As you can see, that uh, hatchet, the double edge, it is starting to dart. And if you look, you might see some little bubbles trickling off of those posts. I've got four clamps there. I'm clamped on to uh, the hatchet and the uh, bottom of the parrot shell that I found uh, near the uh, the cannonball frag. Now this was a little bit of electrolysis I was trying to do yesterday. Uh, this thing was really eating up bad. It's a shaker shingle hammer hatchet, which even the Confederates used for uh, cutting brush and close hand to hand combat. It's got a hammer. A little small, but it, it works. Well, somebody really hit something hard right there. This is the uh, cannonball frag that I had uh, found. Now this parrot shell ring under here, as I will pick it up, I didn't dig that um, from this present site. I got that one back in uh, when I was digging in Kennesaw, Georgia, there around Ackworth. Uh, I had the uh, cannonball frag in electrolysis, but it's already making some holes, and I don't think I want to uh, sacrifice that anymore. Um, I think I'm going to... Spray that with some uh, Rust Restore, some of that black spray. And then I'm going to bake it. And then I'm going to rub some uh, beeswax when it's really, really hot over it. See if I can get that to seal. I don't have a, a container to actually heat me up, a system to heat me up some, some Avada wax yet. These rings, I still got to put them in the uh, electrolysis. I just had them up there for looks. But that's going to be something I'm going to put in the display case. That's the bridle emblem off of that poor horse that took a hit. So this is my little electrolysis and y'all wanted to see what I'm doing. And again so far, my automatic charger hasn't shut off, and it is still working. All I want is just enough to get uh, scrape a little bit of that rust off, and uh, and where I can get uh, get to it. It's not going to be smooth, but get a lot of that rust off, and then I'll spray that too, and uh, rub some uh, rub some wax over it and seal it after I heat it up. So it's it's still working and uh, hasn't cut off yet. Keep your fingers crossed. I will uh, eventually I'll look around and look for an old manual and uh, that way I can ensure but I mean it is it is uh, you can see the little the little spikes in the water. You see a little 
it's a little spike and so it is working cool all right that's my electrolysis and uh hopefully we're i'll have a follow-up and uh see what this thing looks like when i pull it out okay i pulled them out i cleaned them up a little bit this is that hammer what i am doing after I chip as much off of it as I possibly can without threatening to do any further damage. I wipe it off real good. <clears throat> and I'm using this. Then what I'm going to do is get my pieces, put them in the oven, heat them up. Uh, I've seen a few people do it that way. I don't have the uh, vat to... Uh, to do it the way I would like to and then uh, I've got my wax and I'll rub over it this is the finishing piece of the uh, cannonball frag as you see there's holes that have already formed uh, a lot of that in the middle I was afraid to really chip it out especially that piece right there afraid to make another hole and I want to keep this intact as much as possible so it's turned out pretty good it is hot out here folks uh, I'm still waiting for that to dry part of the bottom of the parrot shell but the axe is turning out pretty good which you can see it's very windy <laughs> all right wind behave it says, no, I'm not. Okay, that'll fix it. So it's getting there. Another light coat. Hitting it from all different angles. Make sure I get every little piece sprayed and covered. Any little crack. That's coming out pretty good. I think when I get this thing finished and uh, get it glazed with that, uh, sealed with that wax, I think it's going to look pretty cool. Especially what I've got planned for these two pieces. Okay, now we're going to start the bacon. I'm going to start off with these two pieces. This one was the oldest one that I had. That hammer hatchet. And double blade axe head I don't know what the temperature what people get in their ovens the ones that do use this method but I'm gonna try 400 after a short while that should get that metal really really hot and then uh, hopefully I hope I've got it uh, the uh, rust restore oh, I think it's dried enough worst scenario it could start peeling somewhere if it does i'll just have to redo the whole piece but no big deal like i say this is my first time at it and i'm liable to make mistakes but i'm gonna try these two pieces first i'm gonna get them hot and when i am sufficient that they are hot enough then i've got some uh paraffin wax i'm gonna slide it over them and let that stuff seal and after I get it done and they cool off just a little bit, I'm going to come back with a rag, wipe off the excess, and they should be set. Ooh, we got them out of the stove. And I got something else in the stove over there. Chicken. It's over 100 de degrees today. <laughs> what I'm doing is taking this wax. It's a slow process. But that metal is really hot. Like I say, it's my first time. And I've seen videos of people doing it this way. I mean, the axe head's going to be a lot easier. So I think it's got the whole...
that other little hatchet head has got so many angles. And this is going to be good. Got to have you some tongs. Well, I'm going to do the ends and flip it over and get this other one and we'll come back. Okay, we got them covered. They're all good and shiny and hot. Let that cool off. Did learn never use metal tongs because it did scratch. Got a little bit of the, of the paint came off. It's okay. This wax, it'll seal it. So what are you putting wax on for? Well, to keep, uh, give it uh, a seal, more of an airtight seal. And between the uh, rust restore and that, they should hang around for a while. Okay, here's a few of the pieces that uh, these two I did finalize with the wax. And I think it turned out pretty good. Very satisfied with them. Means they're going to stay with me for quite a while. It's part of the wheel hub. Could I, from either the, the actual part of a hub on the wagon part that receives the wheel. Or it could have been a special type of hub that was on the wheel itself i don't know i've seen one wagon picture of a wagon that on the hub it had three of these that was evenly spread apart kind of like a triangle but that turned out pretty well I haven't uh, waxed it yet. And I haven't waxed this either. I went and I'll do this later. But this is something that I'm pretty proud of. And let me pull this out so you can really get the full effect of it. I titled this The Death of a Union Cavalry horse. There's the bridle insignia that I found. And all of this stuff was found in the same general area. And this is the frag. Cannonball used to have a grape shot. And all of this is sitting on top of the remains of a Confederate parrot shell. Pick it up. And that failed. That hit five feet in front of everything else. Five feet in front of the cannonball. I think that turned out pretty cool. Death of a Union horse. Poor thing. That was ugly times back then. But I'm I'm satisfied. Won't have to worry about these pieces flaking anymore. And I've got some others I need to finish doing. So that was my electrolysis. First time doing it and everything turned out pretty good. Appreciate y'all following. Appreciate the new subs. Joanne I says, y'all have a blessed day and thank you. And we will see you soon. That's another promise. Clarksville Diggers, we're out. Y'all have a blessed day. Oh, and one more thing. If you like the video, feel free to share it. And if you're not sub, <clears throat> get on board and sub now.
Because again, like I always say, you never know what Clarksville Digger is going to get into. And uh, right now, the good Lord's blessed us in something. Don't know how long it's going to last, but we're trying to get every little bit we possibly can. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.